Well, we're up here in the upstairs of the cabin, and which I just put a chimney in today, as a matter of fact. Um, I'll throw a couple of pictures up here. Anyway, uh, today we're going to do a little review of a phone case that I have uh, that I've really liked. And uh, I'm on my second one of these now. I started the trip with one of them, the first one that I had. Um, when I bought the phone, I got it, and that was like a year or so ago. And uh, it went all over the U.S. on my handlebars. It survived two motorcycle accidents, and uh, in one of which it went skidding off across down the, the road, you know, down the pavement, and uh, I've been real impressed with it. Anyway, we'll get into that right after this. So this is the Life Proof uh, Free case. That's F-R-E, I think. Anyway, it... Uh, it encases the whole phone. This is actually uh, waterproof up here, and the button is enclosed and everything. When you open this thing, it has a seal in there, and also, since this is the iPhone 5, no, it's not the 5S, it's the SE, anyway, there's still uh, a headphone jack, so that one has a little thing you screw out of there, and uh, it seals it up when it's closed. Also, um, for when you want to listen to music and still have the case waterproof, they uh, supply a little wire to go along with this that screws into this and has a headphone jack on the end so you can keep it waterproof and still listen to music which I used quite often. It has a glass thing over the, the camera to keep it waterproof and over the flash it has a piece of plastic that's kind of like the piece of plastic over your button here. Now this is the case, my first case, my old case and this is the one that I had uh, during the whole trip. Now it's held up fairly well. I have repaired it up here um, a few times if you can see in the light there it's uh, the rubber on it started pulling away from the plastic part anyway by the time <laughs> I replaced this um, this plastic here was given out so that's not waterproof anymore the plastic back here over the logo I don't know if you can see but it's not attached down there anymore and uh, what else oh the button over here uh, where you turn it silent or not that became not waterproof after a while. Now the biggest thing that contributed to this demise uh, was that I was keeping this thing in my back pocket and uh, it was it was always rubbing and so I rubbed most of this if you can see this part it has this little uh, rubber I don't know ridge or something it's just the rubber part of the case extends up past the screen and uh, I rubbed that all the way off uh, on three sides of this there's still some sticking out down here but that's almost all the way gone up here you can see the edge is just all tore up the buttons are very much worn down as far as all that goes anyway these are about $45 I believe on Amazon and for the price I think they're well worth it um, the buttons are all waterproof they're shrouded by these little um, bumps here so you don't press the buttons accidentally you can still do it but it's harder to do and on a decent looking one it's fairly easy to you know move the lever and all that now when I bought the second case uh, I didn't want to repeat what happened with the first one where I was carrying it around in my back pocket and just wore it out a little prematurely so what I did was I bought it on Amazon because it's the only place you can really find them anymore and along with it I got this this is a little case for it. It's not made by LifeProof, but it's designed to uh, accept the LifeProof phone um, case. And so this case fits in here like that. Let's see if I can get this one-handed here. And uh, clips over this. And basically, there you go. You've got a clip. It's got a little thing to hold it on your belt. And uh, the clip also turns for if you want to wear it. Uh, it'll go 90 degrees either way. So if you want to wear it sideways on your belt. Now, I don't remember the name of this. Oh yeah, encased, there it is. Um, but I did have to do a little bit of modification to it uh, on this clip here where it uh, holds the phone. It will actually hit the power button on the phone and turn the phone on. And so uh, I had to, I don't know if you can see, but I had to carve out a little bit, just took a file to it a little bit and carved it out to where it doesn't hit the button anymore. The only other uh, complaint I have is that these uh, ridges don't go all the way up and I know why they didn't do this is because when the phone's in here uh, you've got this 
part here on the foam that sticks out, but they could have at least put a little bit of a ridge there uh, just for stability's sake. Anyway, that's the only, and of course on this side, they could have put it all the way up. That's the only real complaint I have um, is that once in a while, this seems to be a little, <laughs> a little mite flimsy, um, this part here. I don't think I'm going to have any problems with it, but it just could be a little stiffer. That's all. Um, it has this like, I don't know, fake velvet type stuff on here to keep the, keep the screen all nice. And other than those, you know, relatively minor things, it's a real nice little clip. Oh yeah. One other thing it's got, uh, on here, it's got this little piece of wire to hold this out. And that way you can pretty much, you can turn this sideways. Anyway, this is just a quick uh, little review of one of the better cases on the market, in my opinion. Uh, I've looked, of course, all over Amazon for waterproof phone cases and all this stuff, and there's quite a few of them out there, but these are very proven. Um, like I say, I have had mine through two motorcycle accidents, this one, and one of which it went skidding down the pavement, and uh, I don't know, there it is, and it was still waterproof when I got home. All the damage that you see, all the all the holes that opened up, um, weren't there when I got home. It was still uh, in relatively good condition. I just been beating it up since then. So <laughs> anyway, hope you liked the video. Um, be sure to leave down in the comments uh, if you have any other ideas on good waterproof phone cases. The only thing this case doesn't do is it doesn't float, and. Uh, so that's a little bit of a downfall, you know, if you're around water or something. Anyway, leave your ideas down in the comments. Uh, hope you liked the video. You guys ride safe, and we'll see you next week.